Hello everyone, this is Kevin T. Rodriguez, and I'm the film critic of TheMovieWizard.com, and let's talk about the Walt Disney Company. They are in the headlines today. In fact, it's actually been quoted, Disney and Marvel. I don't know why Marvel's been brought into this, really, but it's the Disney and Marvel. The news is that if Georgia passes a piece of legislation, they will take their business out of Georgia. Now, what is this piece of legislation? Well, I'm not completely sure exactly what the bill says in full detail. However, from what I understand, it's a religious freedom bill that pretty much says that churches or other religious organizations don't They can refuse to marry and hire homosexuals, you know, and bisexuals and transgender people based on religious beliefs and not get sued. Um, To my understanding, that's what the bill is in a sentence. And to what I understand, it only pertains to churches and religious organizations. But again, I haven't read the bill in complete detail. I don't know if this extends to regular businesses or anything like that. And really, I'm not even here to talk about that per se. Because, um, uh, yeah, there's another video to be made about that. Maybe I'll make it. Maybe I won't. Politics isn't really the thing I like to talk about most. And plus, um, the real story is really Disney's announcement. Because here's the thing. At least someone at the Disney company disagrees with this bill. And it's gotten through the Senate. And the government... Sorry, the governor is expected to sign it. Or not sign it. Depending which way he goes. And Disney has pretty much said, Hey, you sign it. We don't agree with that. We'll pull out our business from you guys. Now, I don't know if Disney would actually do that. I mean, the reason they're filming in Georgia is because of huge tax break incentives. I mean, huge. They they get, like, these... They get a lot of tax money to film in Georgia. It, it's so favorable that I think the only other place you could film these movies and get the same, at least a similar tax relief fund is Canada. And I don't think it would be as big. So, whether or not they would actually pull out of the state and lose those tax breaks because they disagreed with a bill that was passed or a piece of legislation. I I don't know. I I really don't. That's their business. It's not mine. However, since this started, I have been reading several complaints on Facebook because, you know, Facebook. And most of these posts, and some of these are from friends of mine, and I know they're going to see this, and they're going to think I'm attacking them. I'm not. I really am not. I'm just giving you my opinion. They are stating it's time to boycott Disney and Marvel. Like, And you know what? If you want to boycott something because you disagree with an opinion, you know, that's fine. Essentially, that's what Disney's doing when they threaten to pull out of Georgia. They are expressing dissatisfaction with an opinion or policy that they are going to react to. And we have the right to do that too, if we want. But, speaking as a pragmatist and a realist, when someone says, we need to boycott Disney, the answer that I have for them is no. No, you're not going to boycott Disney. Like, you are so not going to boycott Disney. Even if you say you're going to boycott Disney, even if you try to boycott Disney and really mean it, you're not going to boycott Disney. I mean, boycotting Disney, when you state that, it's so much easier in theory than it is in practice. And even in theory, it's not very good. Keep in mind, this would not be the first Disney boycott. The Catholic Church several years ago, I say several years ago, it's it's been more like 15 or 20 years ago at this point, did a worldwide boycott of the Disney Company. And they did it in response to Ellen DeGeneres coming out on, I think it was Ellen. 
I, it was either Ellen or The Ellen Show. She did a sitcom before she did a talk show host. And it was like a big deal when Ellen came out. Her character was the first openly lesbian main character for a sitcom. And the Catholic Church did not like that. And for the record, even a lot of gay people didn't like it when she came out. Not because she came out as gay, but because the show got really, really awful after she did. I mean, like, truly awful. I, I, I dare you, like... Rent the DVDs and tell me the show does not get terrible when she uh, <laughs> comes out. It's uh, it, it's really it's really almost incredible. But but anyway, I'm getting off topic. So that's what happened. And then of course Disney owned Miramax, who were releasing movies like Pulp Fiction and Kids in theaters, which were R and NC seventeen rated movies. So you know the Catholic Church said enough. We're going to boycott. And the whole point of the boycott then, like I assume people want it to be about now is to basically hurt Disney's bottom line, hurt their wallet, and say, hey, we're going to boycott you, so you're going to hurt, and you're going to have to eventually back off on this. Uh, here, the boycott didn't work. It, it, it really didn't work. Like, I mean, even with Catholics boycotting Disney, Disney was so huge, it didn't make much of a difference. And the boycott eventually ended, and nobody even noticed when it ended because a lot of people weren't aware it had started in the first place. This is going to be the same thing. If Christians and Muslims and Catholics and Jehovah Witnesses, if any religious people, even if they all came together and boycotted the Disney company, it's not going to do any good. Disney's too powerful, and they're too big. So that's one thing. But here's the other thing. The reason boycotting Disney in theory isn't even practical is because I don't think people realize just how big Disney is. And I'm here to kind of tell you that. Okay, so what do you do if you boycott Disney? Well, obviously you're not going to see their animated movies. I mean, good luck explaining to your kid why they can't see Zootopia or Frozen ever again. Like, yeah, just good luck with that. So... That seems easy, though. Like, okay, so I don't see Disney's animated films. Okay, well, then Disney has some of their live-action movies, which include, like, the Jungle Book reboot and, you know, the next Steven Spielberg movie that's coming out. Again, still still seems like it's okay. Well, then you have the Touchstone banner. you got to boycott Touchstone movies, which included last year, like, Bridges... Oh, wait, sorry, no, sorry. That was DreamWorks. Forget that. Um, okay. Um, you'll have to boycott EBC. So, no more um, Modern Family, no more Muppets, uh, no more Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or Carter, just no more. Of course, they're boycotting all the Marvel movies, TV shows, and comic books because they're owned by Disney. And, if you decide to boycott Disney, you cannot see Star Wars and Indiana Jones. You can't. They're owned by Disney. Disney owns Star Wars and Indiana Jones. The upcoming movies and TV shows for both those franchises are owned by Disney. Are you going to not see Star Wars Episode 7? I highly doubt it. I so highly doubt it. But, th but then you got to take it a step further. What if you're a cord cutter and you have canceled your, your cable service because you watch all of your shows on Hulu and Netflix? Guess what? Disney owns 32% of Hulu. Gotta stop watching Hulu now. Sorry. Gotta stop watching it. What if, what if you're a sports fan? Where do you... Okay, if you're a sports fan, you're gonna watch ESPN, right? No. Disney owns ESPN. They own all the ESPN channels. If you're an ESPN fan you want to boycott Disney, say goodbye to ESPN. Say goodbye to Live With Kelly and Michael. I think that's what it's called. Kelly and Michael? Um... If you're buying books, you have to make sure that the books aren't published by Hyperion because Disney owns Hyperion. <laughs> and, you know, if you... Like, you see where I'm getting with this, folks? Disney owns so much. I'm going to include a link below that you can see all the stuff that Disney owns. And it's staggering. It's so staggering. Uh, like, once you start realizing how much Disney owns, then the question becomes not, will you boycott Disney, but can you boycott Disney? 
can you boycott Disney to the extent that you want it to be felt with them? Once you see everything they own, then you start to realize how big of a part of your lives they really are. And you start to realize that a boycott's just not going to work. It, it won't. And even if it put a little dent in their profits, do you see how much money they're making? Like Zootopia, breaking box office records. Like Star Wars Episode Seven alone, $2 billion worldwide. I mean, if Star Wars was a world economy, it would be like the fifth or sixth biggest economy in the world, last time I checked. You're not going to hurt Disney, trust me. Now, for personal reasons, if you feel personally, I can't support anything Disney does because they're trying to tell lawmakers what they can and can't do with religion. You know what? I can't argue with that. I can't. It's a, it's your choice. I mean, you're doing the same thing they're doing. So, but I mean, I wish you the best of luck. I really do. But from what I know about Disney and how much you use their products, when you say with a straight face, I'm going to boycott everything Disney, I have to laugh and say, no, you're not. You really are not. And you know what? It's like once... Um, Disney releases a new Spider-Man movie or an Avengers movie. Guess what? You'll be back in the multiplexes. You will. Oh, if you boycott Disney, can't watch Pixar movies anymore. And Pixar makes some of the few genuinely good family movies out there that, you know, aren't offensive in the slightest. So, you got... Yeah, and I think Disney even owns a percentage of Apple... You know, Apple computers, where you have your iPhone and your iPad? You gonna get rid of those? I doubt you are. So, I don't know if they own Apple. Don't quote me on that. I just... I know at least Steve Jobs was like a big shareholder at Disney. So, you know. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, that's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Do you plan to boycott Disney? Do you even think it's feasible? Do you not care? I'd like to know. Comment below. Like, favorite, share, subscribe. And as always, flame responsibly. Have a good one.